Hey guys, so today I'm doing a user request video because after I posted my video about um, my water marbles, I received a lot of questions in my inbox about how to make different types of them. So instead of answering everybody, I decided that I would make a video because uh, a lot of people had the same questions. So I'm calling this tutorial Dinosaur Eggs because this one right here, doesn't it look like a dinosaur egg? Like, see the little crack in it? It's so cute. I, I want to pretend that it's a dinosaur egg, okay? <laughs> um, I had a few people ask me how to make multicolored water marbles, like this one here. There it goes. And the other question that a lot of people asked was how to make glow-in-the-dark water marbles. This one right here. And the last question I got was from a few people, um, two people asked if, what would happen if you put glitter inside. And I'm going to show you why glitter doesn't really work for these, but you can do it anyway. So here are the things you're going to need to make your glow-in-the-dark, multicolored, glitter dinosaur eggs. So to make colored ones, you need to use paint. And you're just going to pour the paint into the balloon before you blow it up. And you just put as much paint as you want. It's better to put more paint than less paint. I'm just squirting it in, and then you fill it up with water. So you're just going to fill it up with water, tie it off, and put it in the fridge. To make the glow-in-the-dark ones, you just fill it with glow-in-the-dark paint. And you just put the glow-in-the-dark paint in the balloon before you blow it up. And then you fill it with water. Now the glitter balloon doesn't really work properly because the glitter floats. So you put the glitter in and then fill it with water, but you'll find out later that the glitter floats to the top of the balloon and doesn't distribute throughout the whole thing. Then you need to freeze your balloons overnight or for a couple of hours. And when they're done, you take them out of the refrigerator and take off the rubber and what's left is your beautiful water marbles. You can see the glitter one, all the glitter floated to the top. So here is the glow in the dark one, and the camera's really not picking it up on it well, but to my normal eyes, it looks great. And then you can also put it under a black light, and that looks really cool too. That's the most exciting one. Of course, you know these melt, so they're fun to play with in the winter time, especially when it's snowing outside. It's just really cool to play with the colored piece of ice. So, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope I answered um, most of your questions about these water marbles or dinosaur eggs. <laughs>